The Country Pumpkin Moms love that, okay? I heard y'all wanted to know how to sublimate onto these like hat patches so you could put them on your hat and like what material they were made out of and everything. So I'm here to show you because I actually have a whole bunch. So basically, go to your local fabric store, go to the outdoor fabrics, the ones that have the, the rolls of fabric, and check and make sure it's 100% polyester and make sure it's like a light fabric. So I actually have like three different shades and cut them down to the size that you want for your hat. And we're gonna supplement on them. I printed out three different designs. I only have two little things, but we gonna make it work. Okay, cut your paper. I got a Ryan a baseball mom and a football mom one. These are four and a half inches by three and a quarter inches because we're gonna fray the ends. So I got this and we'll try it, okay? So there's like a back side to this which keeps all the material together, I guess. It's kind of sticky to be honest. So I'm gonna use parchment paper if I remember right. Um, on my heat press, not butcher paper or packaging paper because it stuck to that whenever I did it. I'm not going to tape it because I don't need to. And then we're just going to heat press it. I just traced the same one and I'll do it like a, like a light one and this one. Okay, come on and let's go do this. This is just some parchment paper, like I said, because the back when it's heated up, I found it's kind of sticky. I have my heat press set at 385 degrees for 60 seconds. I'm gonna do one at a time so I can show you twice, okay? So we got our parchment paper, the back side, front side faced up, your sublimation print, mirrored, and just put that on there. You can tape it if you want, but I'm not going to. You should probably wear heat gloves, but I didn't. Here's a football mom one that I'm also gonna do. Just trimming it off, not being too crazy. We're gonna do the darker fabric with the football mom one. I got these off of um, Creative Fabrica. I'll leave a link in the description for a free trial if you wanna try it out. But they have like a really good deal all the time on the yearly membership, and that's what I have. And all their files are commercial use. I'm gonna use the same parchment paper because there was nothing on it. Here's how the football mom one turned out on the darker fabric and then the baseball mom on the lighter. So I made these three and now we gotta make them rustic. What I like to do is take my vinyl weeding tool like this one these ones come for free, or they used to anyways, with the HTV Rant sublimation, not sublimation, with the HTV Rant heat transfer vinyl. And just be careful, and then just kind of like tear up the edges. And there you have it. But here's like the white one. Let's make it a circle. So I just made a little circle there. And just do the same thing. Maybe don't use your favorite weeding tool because it could bend. Maybe somebody has a different idea too on how to fray it better, I don't know. And just trim off like a little bit if you want. Some people put fray stop on there. I couldn't find a hat that didn't have something on it already, but basically the idea would be you would take your little patch and then like E6000 it or something onto your little baseball cap and the country pumpkin moms love that okay i did actually try to make some with the heat bond but it didn't work so i would definitely recommend just like e 6000 it on there it's an adjective now if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you subscribe and also if you want some free resources in the description of this video i do have a free 
uh, time and temperature sublimation guide that I made based on things that I personally make. So definitely check that out or go to learnsublimation.com.